Hello, my name is Julian Andres and I'm the CEO of Fieldwork Robotics. Today I would like to present a little bit more about our company and what we are doing and trying to achieve as well. So our mission is to improve the economics of crop picking. Um, we have developed harvesting robots uh, that can pick very challenging crops, uh, such as our background, the, um, the, the raspberries. The raspberries are very tough uh, fruit to deal with because we need to apply the right pressure for the, the fruit to release the stem, but we can't apply too much pressure, otherwise we'll cause bruising on the fruit and therefore uh, reduce their economic value. Um, looking into the, the berry market is a very large market um, that is growing over time, and the global berry market is now estimated to be more than 165 billion, and is expected to grow at a cover of 5.5%, <clears throat> with some fruits uh, showing a growth higher than others. So we have seen strawberries growing at 4% worldwide, whilst other crops such as raspberries are growing, growing at 22%. Uh, the estimated uh, amount of uh, berries is 18 million tons of fresh, fresh berries uh, worldwide. The availability of problem is a, a worldwide issue. Uh, in the UK, where we are based, uh, we have seen this um, increasing over time due to uncertainty caused by Brexit and the exchange rate uh, being more um, and favorable for people to move into uh, into the country. Um, and there, there has been fears of, um, our, of a highest shortage of harvesters um, when the problem left already <clears throat> in the fields between 15 and 30% of the crops due to the lack of availability of people to, to harvest. We have seen this uh, situation being exacerbated uh, by COVID. Um, so farmers have been um, demonstrating all over the world um, that there is a requirement for governments to support on trying to find people to harvest food, otherwise the food security is going to be um, affected over time. And if we look into the UK, uh, the UK alone has more than 90,000 positions to be filled, of which more than 3,000 are just in the soft fruit market. The even with COVID, uh, things are getting worse. So we have seen here in the UK farms that had to shut down during a period of time uh, because some of their harvesters contracted COVID. And during this period, they lost the revenue but had to guarantee the welfare of their harvesters and guarantee that the, the contamination was contained and not spread uh, all over the place. Um, aside from what happened here in the UK, there are some similar cases happen somewhere else. Uh, in the US, we have seen this happening uh, in the watermelon market as well. So it isn't, it's not a problem that is specific of a crop, it's a problem that uh, we are going to see at least over the next year um, spread of COVID amongst harvesters that will then impact uh, the growers and cause uh, an even bigger issue uh, when there is already a shortage of harvesters. The, we have been looking into uh, this theme. Uh, growers have very thin net margins, with most of them reporting um, margins well below 5%, and therefore they have very limited capacity to absorb um, increase in cost or variability, uh, such as what's happening with COVID, um, where the variation of availability of harvesters is much higher, or the cost of bringing them in is much higher. <clears throat> For the raspberry uh, alone, the, the harvesting represents 50% of the cost, so if we can reduce this cost, then it will have a direct impact on the net margins of the, the grower. <clears throat> so the company is a spin-off of Plymouth University. Um, the first concept of the, um, the flexible arm appears in 2015 within the university in 2016. Uh, the, the university moves into demonstrating the capability of harvesting um, raspberries, although in a very limited um, scenario. Um, <clears throat> but the company is then incorporated, funded uh, in a mix of uh, shareholder loans and grants. And by May 2019, we were doing a field trial um, harvesting um, raspberries in the fields. 
and by 2019 <clears throat> we are able to to successfully harvest uh, continuously on a 12 second harvesting loop and moving forward this year we have uh, achieved um, an autonomous robot that is able to harvest with two arms sim simultaneously we now plan to have something that is able to harvest with more arms so we can reduce the, the cost of harvesting. Um, we have also been very lucky <clears throat> and our work has pushed, has attracted the attention of some market players, um, among them Bosch, uh, with whom we signed a collaboration agreement and that is supporting us um, on optimizing the robots and try to br bring it to market by mid next year. And this is our current robot, uh, completely autonomous <clears throat> and running in the greenhouse. We, we are not going to demonstrate the harvesting because we are only able to do it uh, on a very case-by-case um, -case basis because of confidentiality issues. But if you'd like to, um, to discuss this with us, please contact me on Rui at fieldworkrobotics.com and I'll be more than happy to, to go through all of this and um, respond to any of the questions you have. Uh, our interest in Australia is, of course, is a growing market on berries and we would like to have discussions with local players um, so we can um, grow into Australian markets as soon as um, we are ready to, to do so. Thank you very much for your time and I hope to speak with you soon. Bye.